Hey everyone, we're here with my flea market finds for September 9th, uh, 2018. Uh, it's been a rainy weekend, um, which really affects uh, the sales. Um, still got a few things to show you. Um, missed last week, took a little bit of a little bit of a mini vacation, uh, but we're back at it. And uh, a few things to show you. Like I said, uh, let me show you what I got. A uh, bunch of knives uh, for a change. Um, so a Henkel. These are made in Spain. Um, they're Spanish. They're German. Yeah. There's some other ones too, but uh, this one's German. The other two are Spanish. Um, those twelve for the three. We'll sell those by the piece. Interesting knife here. I don't think it's anything great. Um, Kaiser of Germany. Uh, the fit and finish is a little bit off on this one. See the gaps there. Still a nice looking knife. I uh, got that for five. Love the sword. Just a decorative piece, not meant to be used. Uh, it has a mermaid on it, which should really uh, help sell it. Um, got that for 18 and uh, I think we'll put about 50 on there. Got a uh, Kukri knife. I should have uh, pulled it out before the video. Um, I prefer the ones that were made for the military. Um, they don't have all the fancy uh, things that says India on it, but uh, still a nice uh, nice vintage knife, uh, probably get about 50 bucks for that, um, that was 20, uh, this could be the sleeper of the bunch, um, what I think this is, I think this was meant for ships, um, back when ships used to shoot at each other with cannon, uh, they would use uh, red hot shot, shoot red hot shot at each other in the hopes of burning uh, the other ship down. So you're in a battle with another ship and they fire a red hot cannonball over and it lodges itself in the, uh, in the side of your ship. What you do is you grab your trusty little axe here, you chop around the cannonball and you hook it with the spike and pull it out uh, before it can burn the ship down. So that's what I'm hoping this is. Um, kind of cool looking. Uh, six bucks. Could be a good piece if that's the case. A uh, Norway knife. It's uh, rain's working its way in on the porch here a little bit. Um, with a uh, nice sheath. Uh, the unknown is the uh, western buoy sheath. Uh, a friend of mine who's a dealer uh, had this and uh, sold it to me for 10 bucks and he's like I got the knife around here somewhere. He couldn't find it but as soon as he finds it he's gonna give it to me. So it could be a good one. I was happy just getting the sheath because a lot of collectors out there for these old uh, western buoys. A uh, DeWalt Air Wrench, Air Ratchet, uh, 3.8 drive. Looks like it's never been used. Um, that was uh, 10 bucks on that. Uh, I think we got it listed already for like 40 bucks. Pennsylvania Railroad uh, Watch Fob, $5.00. Uh, it's probably a $20, $25 piece. A uh, pocket watch. It's, it doesn't run, but uh, as is that's normally the case for uh, uh, pocket watches from the flea market. A nice engraved uh, locomotive on the back. Um, that was 10 Not sure what that'll bring. Uh, got a ship's clock 
uh, probably one of the better buys. Paid 20 for that, and uh, it's supposed to uh, bell and chime and uh, keep time and ring bells. Uh, the bells do not work. Uh, but it's keeping good time. Um, but uh, have that currently listed for 300. Uh, thinking, uh, um, thinking it'll probably go for less than that. Um, See, so made in Germany, and the little screw there controls whether the bells ring or not. But can't get it to ring. So. Uh, Still should bring good money. A little bit of jewelry to show you. I actually been buying a lot of jewelry, but um, we've listed some. It's mixed in with other stuff I've already showed you, and I didn't want to show you something that you've already seen. I know you haven't seen this. A nice cuff bracelet uh, with amber. Pretty sure it's amber inserts, and uh, neat how it goes together like that, and then slide the pin in pretty cool um, and no maker's mark but uh, all handmade got a very uh, rustic look to it uh, that was paid 30 for that but uh, I think that's hundred dollar or more piece a uh, nice little multi-strand Taxco um, Mexico sterling uh, bracelet uh, that was 15 a uh, poison a uh, matchbox holder six bucks that's about a old poison a that's about a forty dollar piece there uh, nipper to dog RCA nipper um, he's uh, made out of plaster stands uh, 14 inches tall uh, paid 20 bucks for him because he's got some damage looks like the ears have been uh, cracked or maybe even broken off um, we have them on there right now for uh, 60 um, I think it'll sell um, maybe more, who knows. I uh, got a box of these Edison um, records that go on the player. They're wax. Not sure how good the quality would be. But uh, got eight of them, two of them. Got eight containers, two of them have the records inside. Edison sure like to uh, promote itself. Uh, these actually don't bring a ton of money, um, but uh, I got these. Uh, it was twenty bucks for the uh, eight of them. And I actually paid twenty for the six, and they threw in the other two empty containers. Um, so we have those listed. I forget what we listed them for. Um, Atari Flight Commander Control, pretty cool. Still got the decals to put on it in there. Uh, that was ten bucks, and I actually have the game. Uh, all those Atari games I bought a couple weeks ago. Um, that was in there, um, so um, we'll put that Spitfire Attack kind of. Uh, Kind of a cool looking thing. I'm sure um, I'm sure I wanted something like that when I was a kid. Uh, only ten dollars. Can't go wrong with the original box. Um, these bring in the neighborhood of uh, 100, 150 uh, with the box. So uh, not too bad. Diecast car, seven dollars. Um, these always bring around 2025. Love the lion uh, poles. Not sure if they're go, supposed to go in a door or uh, or a drawer, but uh, definitely got some age on them and uh, really cool pieces. Uh, Twelve for the pair. Uh, got a burpee seed clock. Paid 30 for this, and these really don't bring as much as I thought they did. Looks like they're only bringing around 60 bucks on eBay, um, and uh, it's supposedly it works. 
uh, we'll give it a try. And a whole box of the um, uh, sh shadow, dark shadows. Um, these books actually bring pretty good money. Um, it's, I forget how many here, um, 30 some, around 40. Um, anyway, uh, if you look up these books on eBay, uh, they bring pretty decent money. Paid $75 for this entire box. So I'm thinking it'll bring upwards of around 200. Uh, we'll have to get into them and uh, sort through them, see the, the best way to list them. Uh, so there we go. Keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, uh, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over the next week. Uh, so until next time, this is uh, Will Your Sales Fivelist, and uh, we'll talk again soon.